Hello friends, let's solve this exponential equation. It says 3 raised to the power x minus 2 raised to the power x is equal to 65. And we need to find the value of x in this equation. So what do we do first? Now, I am trying to see how we can convert this to a quadratic equation. Let's try something out here first. Now, you know, the leading power of a quadratic equation is 2. So let's see how we can bring in 2 somewhere here. Now, let's start with this 3 raised to the power x. Do you know that I can write this as 2 over 2? Now, I've not really changed anything because 2 divided by 2 will still give you 1, right? So I'm trying to bring out a power of 2 from all of this now. So if I do this, this can be rewritten as 3 raised to the power x over 2, then 2 like this. You agree? See, this 2 is still here. So I, I can actually just divide 2 by 2, and it will take me back to 3 raised to the power x. So I have this. Let me take it back there. Now, can you now see that there's a power of 2, which I want to have a quadratic equation? So the thing I'll do is I can just say let p be equal to 3 raised to the power x over 2, right? And then this whole thing now will become 3. Sorry, we will become what? P, because 3 raised to the power x over 2 is now P. So P, then the squared here. Can you see how I was able to bring a square from this exponential equation? And that's the same thing I'll do to 2 raised to the power x. So let's start again and have everything well sorted out. So it's going to be 3 raised to the power x over 2 the power of 2 like I did before, then minus, let's do the same thing here, 2 raised to the power x over 2, the power of 2, this is equal to what, 65. Now I can say let p be equal to this one we have in the bracket, 3 raised to the power x over 2, and then q be equal to 2 raised to the power x over 2. Good, so that would be p is now this, squared, minus what, what is this? You know, q is 2 raised to the power x over 2, which is now q, then squared everything is equal to what 65. Okay, now moving on now from difference of two squares, we have p squared minus q squared. So applying difference of two squares, it's going to give us p plus q, put it in a bracket, and then what p minus q, everything is equal to what 65. So let's do some trial and error here because I want to split 65 into a product of two numbers, and I'll just assign the first bracket to the first number to to one of the numbers, then the second bracket to the other number, so that this will now lead us to a simultaneous equation. So 65, let's try two whole numbers, the product of two numbers. What about 13 times 5? What is 13 times 5? That's 65. So we can use 13 times 5, two whole numbers, such that the product to give us 65 is 13 and 5. So we're going to replace that here now. Now this is going to be p plus q, and then in bracket p minus q is equal to what 13 times 5. So let me ask you something. This and this, which do you think should be assigned to n of the two 13? p plus q is obviously bigger than p minus q. For example, let's say let's just assume that p is 5 and q is 2. The first one is p plus q. So 5 plus 2 is what? 7. Okay. And what about this one? P minus q, 5 minus 2 is what? 3. So p plus q would always be bigger than p minus q. So we are going to assign 13 to p plus q and 5 to p minus q. Let's do that. So that gives us p plus q is equal to what 13 and then p minus q is equal to what 5. Good. Now we have a simultaneous equation. We are going to solve these two equations simultaneously. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now it will be easy to eliminate. We can either eliminate p or q, but let's just eliminate p. So I'm going to say equation 1 minus equation 2. So let's do that. Now, p minus p is what? Zero. What is q minus minus q? q minus minus q will give us what? Because minus minus is plus. That would be um, 2q because q plus q is 2q. So this is what? 30 minus 5 is what? That is 8. Okay? So um, this is 2q, which is equal to what? 8. Divide both sides by 2. Q will be equal to what? 4. So we have gotten the value of Q. Let's get the value of P now. So moving here now, let's use any of the equations. Let's use equation. Let's use equation 2. So I'll say P minus Q is equal to what? 5. 
and we've gotten q as 4 that would be p minus 4 is equal to 5 and p is equal to what if you add 4 to both sides 5 plus 4 so p is equal to what 9 sorry <laughs> p is equal to 9 p is equal to 9 and then q is equal to what 4 good so we're not I'll, I'll just say recall remember we said let p recall that what p is equal to what 3 raised to the power x over 2 and q is equal to what 2 raised to the power x over 2 so we got p as 9 so let's plug in p back so 9 is equal to 3 raised to the power x over 2 i'll just do everything in one in one line what's q q is 4 4 is equal to what 2 raised to the power x over 2 Oh, this is 2. Now, let's make 9 have a... Let's express 9 as a power of 3. That would be 3 raised to the power 2, which is 3 raised to the power x over 2. Same thing here. 4 is what? 2 raised to the power 2, all right? Which is equal to what? 2 raised to the power x over 2. So they have a common base. Let's equate the exponent. 2 is equal to x over 2. And here, 2 is equal to what? x over 2 as well. If you cross multiply and do the same thing here, we have x is equal to what? 2 times 2 is 4 in this instance. Same thing here again. x is equal to what? 2 times 2 is what? 4. So in both cases, we got x as 4. Now let's see if whether if we plug in 4 into this equation, we're going to get 65. Let's try that out. So trying it out now. 3 raised to the power what? 4 minus 2 raised to the power 4. Let's see if it will give us 65. What is 3 raised to the power 4? That's 81. And what is 2 raised to the power 4? That is 16. So 81 minus 16 will clearly give us what? 65. So the value of x in this exponential equation is 4. Kindly like this video and share it to your friends and family. Do subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I will see you in the next one.